Hi guys. Hello, welcome to our village. My name is Bonnie. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. Uh, welcome to today's episode of the pay slip series. If you want to see other pay slips uh, that are not related to teaching, uh, you can check out the pay slip uh, playlist uh, after you've watched this one, obviously. And also, I have a video where I focus only on public schools and that's what brought us to this video and was i not shocked was i not shocked guys hey bana hi let's watch this clip quickly guys since osis boni is posting i'm a paisley poor teacher i've been catching feelings my heart is painful I'm sad, I'm envious, I'm jealous because I realize you see how little we get paid in private schools. Not like big private schools, like because people have this perception if also from this in a private school, they think of like lese to me, like those private schools where you find Gunama branch like Ashugi and stuff like that. Tina se fundisa in small, small private schools. And in Malia Corner, guys, hey, in Malia Corner, see what are you in money? Yeah, guys, that's what brought us to this video. Uh, was I not shocked after releasing that video? With uh, it's going to 70,000 views now. Uh, yeah, and it was published about two weeks ago here on YouTube, and a lot of people were shocked, <laughs> uh, they were shocked uh, about how. Public school teachers are actually any more than private school teachers. There was a conversation, but today we are going to see if there is true or not. Okay, please grab yourself a snack and something to drink because wow, did it not shock me? <laughs> yeah, so guys, um let's see. This is what you can expect in this video. I have pay slips from teachers, right? Some are in Gauteng and there's one in KZN from private schools. And then I have uh, two pay slips of lecturers. And there is one pay slip of someone who is teaching English online, but they are based in Cape Town. Okay, so that's what you can expect in this video today. So, where do I start? Where do I even start? Um, <laughs> Let me just start <laughs> with the three comments uh, that shocked me. <laughs> just three, and then we'll read more later. Um, so someone was saying, uh, I was offered 5,000 rand to teach grade 12. Ngati ngiyabonga, thanks, ngapuma gubo. Another one, I don't get a payslip. And someone said, Kanji, it's not my school only. I thought it was ours only, right? So this person thought she's the only one that does not get a payslip. Because the common thing, what are uh, the common thread when it comes to private schools? Private schools, people are saying they don't really get pay slips. So, yeah. Yes, I was a principal at a certain school. I was getting paid 30k while my teachers were getting paid between 5 and 7,000. Had to leave, I couldn't be part of it. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, grade one teacher. Uh, how much she is uh, getting paid. Uh, hi, Sis Boni. I'm in a private school, um, newly graduated. I have six months experience. Uh, their fees are around 3,000 rands. We're going to talk about this later, about the fees, right? Uh, she is teaching grade one and she's got a B.H. degree, Bachelor of Education degree, okay? So let's see how much she is any. Basic salary twenty three thousand two hundred and twenty, mm, and then she's got pension, they did tax pension one thousand six hundred, and then there's tax UIF, and I think the other one is a union or something. So total deductions four thousand five hundred and fifty six, and the net pay is eighteen thousand six hundred and sixty three. Okay, I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm happy with this uh, because. Yeah, government uh, teachers as well, they get paid around this money. And also it's important to see something like this because those comments, guys, <laughs> they, 
those comments were frustrating me you know so let's go to another one uh right hi ssp i'm a teacher at a private school i started in 2021 i get 100% bonus uh no medical aid uh, she's in Houghton. she's teaching a uh, senior phase she's got a uh, bsc and pg ce right we are still going to talk about this guys uh just well i nearly said remind me <laughs> i have to remember to talk about the pg ce's part okay so right basic salary twenty six thousand. okay guys so who's getting paid three thousand who's getting paid three thousand here is the salary of a private school teacher she is getting twenty six thousand. a basic salary is twenty six thousand two hundred and fifty and then she's got her deductions three thousand eight hundred uh there is a skills development levy and whatnot uh let's see her net her net is twenty two thousand guys who was getting paid three thousand? I right, let's go back to this. <laughs> Yo, guys, I wanna talk about this. I wanna talk about this. I wanna talk about this just now. But just hold on. So let's go back to the comments. Yes, it's true. One of the job at schools offered me four thousand five hundred. I was supposed to teach from grade four to grade ten. I disputed their offer, and I would rather stay home. Uh, someone said private school yo i wanted a raise and they said it's all it's all about love for teaching and the love for kids i left them and someone says um i was getting 4k with no pay slip which means they give you they don't deposit money to your bank account they give you your money <laughs> in your hand okay last one guys there's a big difference there's a difference between a private school and a fly by night school <laughs> those schools in job and flats in in in, in brackets right so that's what she means fly by night schools are those schools in job and flats obviously those those ones will pay peanuts okay right okay so far so good guys i'm happy i don't know about you uh, just let me know in the comment section and uh, I think these salaries are decent, you know, it's all good. I'm not complaining, right? But the comment section on TikTok is just saying something else and this is why guys for me I'll take my time and not post a video because I am collecting evidence That's what I've been doing. People have been waiting for me to post these private school um, pay slips but I wanted to have more evidence, you know? Uh, so obviously they are not all around this range, but it was important for me to gather evidence. Okay, so let's move guys, let's move, let's keep it moving. Mm, let's keep it moving. Uh, let's see this one, Gauteng province. Uh, okay, she's got B8, uh, had no experience, uh, it was her first job and she took it. Uh, the school is in Joburg. The workload was hectic and the owner of the school felt like she was paying us millions. This one is in Gauteng. Guys, there's a lot going on in Gauteng, hey? Okay, basic salary 10,500. You? And then there's tax UIF, net pay 9,800. Okay. Okay. Net pay 9,000. You have a BA, you have no experience. Okay. At least she's got a pay slip, right? Uh, unlike those ones who said they were not even getting pay slips. Um, the reason, guys, this shocked me is because, I mean, I live in the Midlands, right? And where I live, when you say private school <laughs> like let me just paint you a picture like from home i live about two k's from Treverton college uh you can check them out um that's the nearest private school to us the fees like your grade ones i think it's about 60k or 70k right okay fine and then um if you drive for another 15 kilometers there is um what's this uh, what's this school man uh what's the school clifton college right the boarding school 
because uh, there's one in Durban City, but this one is a boarding school and it's a co-ed. Again, there is proper private school. And then if you drive a bit further, maybe it will be 25Ks from here, you go to Michael House. I don't need to tell you what Michael House is, you know. So if you are in the Midlands, when you're talking about a private school, we are talking about something else. So that's what I'm exposed to. <laughs> This is why I was like shocked when I was seeing people saying that they are paying that um, they are being paid that amount of money being a private school teacher. Another thing, I was just shocked by the amount of people, um, okay, like black people like me who were teaching at private schools because in KZN, guys, I don't know about other provinces, but my friends have told me this is different from the from okay, right? But here, yeah, guys. Teachers, black teachers, they normally teach Isuzu. So I was just surprised to see quite a lot of black teachers <laughs> saying they are at a, a private school, you know? Because here, when you see a black teacher, as in these private schools that I'm talking about, those teachers will be teaching Isuzu. I stand to be corrected, you know? By the way, disclaimer, my kids have never been to these schools that I'm mentioning. I'm just so pro for it. <laughs> And then again, someone will say, but why is your child going to a school in Swaziland? Swaz but anyway, guys, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, here is another pay slip. How 10? Hi, Bonnie. I teach grade 10 to 12, four years experience, and I have a PG CE. Um, she did, okay, I studied BSc, then I did, um, I got a PGCE. Funny enough, most teachers at private schools have PGCEs. Private schools prefer us because, for example, myself, I studied BSc in biochemistry and microbiology. Back for the black child. <laughs> you know your uncle uh, on TikTok when he tells you that these type of courses are not good um, for you because you need to start until master's level and whatnot. But anyway, we are not there, guys. I measured in biology throughout my degree. Our physics teacher has BSc in physics and applied mathematics. The guy is brilliant in mathematics and physics. Okay, yeah, I've noticed that as well, that um, most teachers in private schools, they have PGCE. Um, yeah, which bothers me because maybe it means those people, they really didn't, that was not their first choice. Uh, teaching was not really their first choice. You know, like it bothers me as a parent, not as a woman sitting here creating content. As a content creator, it does not bother me, right? But as a parent, it just bothers bothers me when I see that someone did PG, uh, CE. You know, because I just feel like they really didn't want to be here, but now they're here because they can't find the job. But guys, you let me know your thoughts as a parent. Uh, how do you feel about this? But anyway. I would like to thank this person for bringing us this paisley because I saw the company she was working for, that's proper. I know the school is proper. The parents are paying there, you know, and I'm happy with her salary. Okay, let's see who says with PSC uh, and PGCE. Total earnings 29,600. I'm happy with this. Total deduction 6,000. Net pay is 23,000. Guys, this is fantastic and she's got um, benefits, pension fund and whatnot, you know. So she's got her benefits. It's just that I did not want to show a lot of her payslip because what if someone recognizes it, you know. Uh, but this is good, guys. Uh, she's got proper benefits, you know. So um, the village is happy. I'm sure the village is happy with this one. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the last one, guys, right? But before we look at the last one, it's not the last, yeah, it's the last pay slips from teachers, but I'm still going to show you pay slips from lecturers, two lecturers, one senior and one a junior. And also, I'm still going to show you a pay slip of someone who's teaching English online. Guys, please like this video if you find value uh, in it. And also consider uh, subscribing and joining our village. Okay, this comment here says no pay sleep but 4,000 per month, still a student. Okay, fine. Um, someone says that's why I take my child to a good government school. Okay, 
Oh my lord, someone says I don't even get those pay slips. We are paid by hand. Hi boo. Um someone says, oh god. This is worrying. What is the government doing about this guys? This is really worrying. Okay. I know one in Tata where they get paid three thousand a month and you don't even get it all the time. They will give them sometimes a 1.5. Yo, God, you know, this is stressing me. <laughs> this is stressing me, you know. And then someone said, this is true. My baby daddy earns 10,000 and he is a physics and math teacher. Okay, that's better. It's not that bad. Mm, no pay slip, no benefits. You can get fired any minute. Was any 3,960 as a lecturer at a private college in Pretoria, Monday to Saturday, 7 to 5. Guys, guys, what is the government doing? Like, who main team talent? This is stressing me out. But anyway, guys, this is one of the top schools uh, in KZN. The pay slip is from one of the top schools in KZN. She said, "Hey, I'm a teacher in one of the top schools uh, in KZN. Um, please don't laugh at me." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she thought I'm gonna laugh at her because this place is not bad. A monthly cost to company twenty five thousand two hundred and sixty four. Guys, that's not bad. Uh, and just considering the working conditions, but like these people they teach uh, twenty kids per class at the most maybe twenty five or twenty seven. You know. So yeah, guys, I'm happy with this twenty five thousand. Uh, and then her net. Yeah, she's got. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, she pays. She pays what? Total pets one thousand. Company contributions one point five. I think. Oh yes, she's got pension fund. Uh, yes, she's got pension fund, guys. Mm, this is good. She's got a pension fund. So her net salary is eighteen thousand eight hundred. I'm happy with this, guys. I don't know about you, but how is the village feeling about this one? I think this is good guys you know we can take this as a village i think we can take this <laughs> Eighteen thousand guys and good working conditions all right guys let's take it okay now let's see how much is someone who's teaching english online right uh, i just thought let me hold this one here since we're talking about teaching hello i found your account on tiktok i absolutely love it i used to work as an online English tutor in Cape Town, I'm seeing more and more people do live streams on TikTok where they teach. I feel like many people are interested in teaching. So, yeah, so she works night shift, 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. because I think she's teaching people in Asia, right? Um, yeah, so she says she had no TELF certificates but the company supplied the T E F L certificate right so she's doing this from her own home right let's see how much she was getting or how much she's getting mm. okay hours worked 140 uh, and then there's a bit of night shift and then um, there is public holidays uh gross earnings six thousand seven hundred and then um yeah there's no deductions here except for the for the uif so net pay six thousand six hundred hey hi book guys uh so it rates is 40 rand per hour oh okay it rates is 40 rand per hour Okay, 40 rand per hour. But this person, I don't, she doesn't have, um, she doesn't have the B8 degree, right? And what happens here is in this type of things, you are hired by a company that is running this. So you are not hired directly by the school where you are teaching. So because she was working for an agency, so this is why she would earn much less right but she doesn't have a p8 but again i don't know uh, i'm gonna dm them because this was from 
Instagram. I'm gonna DM them by the time I edit this video, I'm gonna have the information about her qualification. Sorry guys for recording the video without this information. Hi Ausboni, I see you are seeking lecturer's pay slip. I'm a part-time junior lecturer at a university of technology. I'm appointed for 19 hours per week. I hold a postgrad diploma in management sciences and currently enrolled for an NBA. Right. So only 18 hours, sorry, 19 hours per week. Let's see how much they are getting. Uh, total earnings 32,100. And then they pay SARS and UIF um, 5,584 deductions. Net pay is 26,570. And because they are part time, they can do other things. So I'm happy with this, guys. I don't know how you feel about it. This is a junior lecturer. Hey, I don't know how you feel about it. 19 hours per week, it means you still have another 20 hours to supplement this income and do something else. So I'm happy with that. Let's move now to someone that I think they are more senior as a lecturer, right? Yeah. Yo, let me just read. They wrote to me an email. Hi, Bonnie. I'm a lecturer at a university of technology. I hold a master's degree. I started lecturing after three years of industry experience in the communication space. I have been on contracts for four years and secured a permanent post only this year. The pay slip does not include medical aid because my spouse has added me to theirs. Okay, so she had some notes for you, you know, like something that I should share with you about this profession of being a lecturer. I must emphasize that salaries depend on negotiations. Versus's initial offer was to leave me with a net of 27. I negotiated for at least 35 and we met at date one. Okay. I advise job seekers to negotiate from the net pay, not the cross. Okay, obviously they will still need to ensure that the increase in the net is not a reduction of the pension and other benefits. Um, point number two, rural based universities pay more than urban based universities because they want to attract and retain talent. A friend of mine earns two times more than I earn and we started simultaneously simply because he is within a rural-based university. So this guy is in an urban area, right? Point number three, guys, I hope you are taking notes and you can come back to this video. If you come into lecturing with a high pay slip, for example, let's say you come from STEM industries, they can only offer you higher or match the salary, right? In some cases, they pay you under but most people settle for that because it gets compensated with the flexibility in academia and being able to do side hustles while in a full-time employment. I hope this is helpful. Yeah, it is helpful. This is why I'm sharing it with you. And guys, please like this video if you find value, right? And consider subscribing. Uh, before we go to the payslip, let's just chew on this. Uh, I was mentioning on the previous pay slip that for working um, flexible hours, 19 hours per week, guys, um, I thought there was a good salary. So I'm here with this person is also mentioning the same thing, you know, uh, because sometimes uh, we can see the pay slips, but you don't know what the person is going through, you know, um, maybe they are working 50 hours per week. You know, someone has shared that with me, that they are a CA, they work for an American-based company, and they were working some ridiculous hours per week, you know? So I love this, especially as black people, because we don't normally talk about these things. When you talk about lifestyle, you know, and how a career fits into your lifestyle, into your family life, the type of person that you want to be, People see you as someone who's acting white, 
guys, I don't know if you get me. Like, do you have you have you heard that before? They all know, but you don't have a luxury. Why are you acting white? Da 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 da. You know. So I love seeing black people uh, writing like this and talking like this. So let's see, guys. Taxable income, uh, forty-two thousand. A homeowner allowance, one thousand eight hundred. Total taxable income. 44,540 mm, and then um, let's see let's see let's see uh, why is the gross okay so the gross is 52,200 total deductions is 20,000 and the net pay is 31,900 right yo pension fund they are paying they are contributing 6,800 uh, oh, the pension fund is 6,300, but they are contributing 3,400. Pays UN is 8,000. Um, yeah, guys, I'm happy with this. Um, I don't know about you, but uh, the net pay here is 31,900 rand. That's someone with a master's degree and they are teaching in a university of technology okay guys that's all i had for you today but the teachers you are worrying me you are worrying me with these comments uh government must do better but anyway guys i'll see you on the next one bye bye